and welcome to WRPB and WRPB Studios. You know, those of you who have been following me for so many years, over the last couple of years, you know that it's so important. Family is like so important. And I have an 89-year-old mom that I take care of. And being a caregiver is a tough, tough job. I can't give enough kudos to people who work in that industry and take care of people. Well, with me is Keila Thomas, mm -hmm. and you are CEO of A Key to Paradise. Did I get it right? Yes. Okay, so normally I don't get it right. When you get this old, you usually forget everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I understand. <laughs> so, what is A Key to Paradise? A Key to Paradise is an assisted living community. We are a six bed uh, family owned residential uh, community. Um, we care for uh, residents that are people that are 65 and older. And um, I'm a registered nurse, a registered corporate level um, nurse. Um, so um, we provide um, assistance with activities of daily living as okay, well so as medication management. <coughs> so the scenario for me, mm -hmm. and I'm only doing it like a couple of years now, okay. and God knows you guys are angels, okay? Thank because you. Sometimes I want to kill myself, taking care of my mom. We but you get one mom, and I love her dearly, and I do what I got to do. So, someone comes into your facility, they have dementia? Some do. Can you, can you deal with dementia? Can you handle dementia? We can. To a certain extent. Yes, at early stages. If okay. they're requiring memory care, mm -hmm. we don't, um, because we're not a locked community. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about not being mobile yes you can take care of that yes we can so you can transfer them from the bed to the wheelchair to the dining room to mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. okay a walker wheelchair um ambulate with the cane yes what about okay so now someone's at your facility and they need to have a doctor's appointment do you transport them to the doctor yes we do and we also um accompany them and some of those things come at a, an additional fee. Mm -hmm. But we are willing to accompany them um, just to enhance the continuity of care. Right. Just to make sure that um, we can communicate <coughs> uh, with, the, with the physician as to what's been going on. And the physician can communicate with us so that we can then communicate with the family to just make sure everything is, is nice and it transitions well. You know, interesting thing. So... My mom must have had an allergic reaction to something, mm -hmm. and she got a rash all over her body. Mm. And we tried everything, um, and then we took her to the doctor. Okay. The doctor now prescribed prednisone, mm -hmm. and my mom is, they can't take pills, so we have to crush them up. Mm -hmm. So and instead of that, we got liquid prednisone. Okay. And all of a sudden, I'm administering like five milligrams with like the syringe thing in her mouth. Mm -hmm. You guys handle all that. Yes, we do. We okay. Do. So, and it's interesting because I'm not a doctor, nor am I a nurse. Mm -hmm. I don't even play a doctor on TV. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I do I watch a not. couple of doctor shows, but that's about it. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is that for three and a half weeks or four weeks, she's been dealing with this rash. Mm -hmm. And now in three days, the rash is almost gone. Awesome. Because the doctor had the right medicine. And it was given in the right doses. Something that I can't do. So it's great if you want to bring your mom or dad home and take care. Mm -hmm. But it gets to a point where you can't do it. And you need somebody who's skilled enough to do it. And that's why we're here. And that's why you're there. I will tell you this. You said something to me that made interesting sense. Mm -hmm. I said to you... Well, you have an assisted living facility, but you really don't have an assisted living facility. You really have an assisted living community mm -hmm. because it's not a facility where you have 1,400 rooms and people all over the place. And It's more of a homey home community. Like, Home-like environment. Mm -hmm. It's a home away from home. Our home is um, is the key. The name is a key to paradise. Right. And it's tropically decorated um, to reflect paradise. Okay, so I'm guessing there's a full kitchen. Yes. And a TV room, for lack of a better word. Yes, we have a sitting area um, relaxation room 
um, where they can watch TV, read, or just sleep. Uh, we have recliner, um, push button recliners in that in that room um, okay. for added comf um, comfort. Um, yes, we do. You have a pool. We have an in-ground pool. Okay. That we're proud of. <laughs> I don't blame you. You should be proud of that. That's enclosed. Uh, we have a covered lanai that has a ceiling fan on it. We have a beautiful uh, landscaped uh, yard mm -hmm. uh, with gardens in it for the residents to, uh, to participate in. And we have it enclosed. It's fenced. It's fenced in. Yeah. Okay. So <coughs> elderly people in the beginning of dementia, I'm learning, have their quirks. Like mm -hmm. my mom mm -hmm. will... When she's in the bedroom by herself, she'll talk to herself. Okay. And she'll go, Ma, Dad. Mm -hmm. Now, I believe that she's, and I know it's going to sound weird, but I kind of think she's seeing spirits. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I don't know if it's, if it's that she's seeing her mom or her dad, but she's, see, she's I guess, maybe feeling the energy of her mom and dad. I believe that, that and it, the world is built around energy. And I think that you can feel those, those, that energy of people that you've lived with for a long time. I talk to my mom, and it's very important when you're dealing with someone elderly, in my opinion, to make their mind constantly work. Mm -hmm. So stimulate, I'll ask a question for the bath. Them. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it's really sometimes a struggle dealing with someone who's older and having that patience. So... You guys there, and I hate to, it's like beating a dead horse, but without you guys, where would the elderly be? Because we can't do it. I do it. Mm -hmm. I'm blessed. I have a wife who helps out a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's going to get to a point where I won't be able to do it. And that's coming. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's okay. It's okay. Right. Mm -hmm. the, the greatest thing I've heard about your community mm -hmm. is that, all right, you know what? I have things that have to be done. Mm -hmm. I could bring my mom there for a day, a week, a month. Mm -hmm. It's called respite, respite services. And we're there to support um, families uh, who are caregivers 100% um, of the time. And sometimes life happens. Life happens to all of us. So we do have respite services where you can drop your, your loved one off. And, um, and leave them, never see and, them again. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> but you can um, drop them off for however long you need um, them to be there for. Mm -hmm. that, give you a break. That's, I can, okay, more important than anything, I think that is one of the greatest things that one can offer to a caregiver mm -hmm. and a family member. Yes. Because <clears throat> we were just talking, I have a funeral to go to. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't have a caregiver for the weekend. Now I know that I could drop my mom by you. Yes. She's going to be taken care of properly. Yes. I don't have to think about it. And boom, I can go carefree and not worry about it. That's yes. a great thing. Yes. We are fully furnished. Um, like I said, we're tropically decorated. We have all the, uh, we have a lot of the amenities that the larger communities have. Right. Um, you, only thing you would have to bring um, is clothes, clothes, clothing. Um, because we have everything. We have linen. Um, we have everything that you need um, to care for someone with. Um, we offer three hot meals plus snacks. And I'm going to ask you this question. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Activities. My mom is picky in what she eats. Mm -hmm. And some of the things that she likes is expensive. Okay. Now, I'm um, back to you. You get one mom. My mom's going to have everything she needs. Mm -hmm. So can I bring the extra things that I would want her to have? You can. Okay. Um, you can bring those things. Um, we have certain guidelines with that, but you can bring in. Well, I know um, that... So, and we can also provide, because we will do um, an interview to determine what types of food um, that a resident likes, and we will go and purchase those foods or those items so that they can have them available. Okay. Yeah, so it's not one... My mom know, likes like lobster tails. You ain't purchasing lobster Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we are willing to purchase <laughs> lobster tails. Now, probably not on a daily no, basis. No, but... But yeah, we're, yeah, we're once a month, I, I you know, yes. but I don't mind buying it. And, that's not and, unreasonable. And, and, and that's not unreasonable. It, you know, lox is very expensive. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And she has it every morning. Okay. So I buy it. And I don't mind, again, I guess it takes a certain quality, like you guys have, mm -hmm. to want to please older people who have lived their life. Yes. And given to 
the community, giving to whatever. Well, you said live their life. See, this is not about live their life. This is about living life. Living life. Okay, okay. right. In an active, uh, uh, resident-centered way where um, they can continue to engage in life and the things that they prefer as they continue to, to age. So as they continue to transition. So um, it's all about the resident and their individual needs. Okay. And it's all about living a active lifestyle. You yes. know, mm-hmm. <coughs> purposeful, purposeful lifestyle. It's interesting because you're, you're a family owned business. Yes, we are. And that's great. Um, who's the administrator? My daughter. Um, oh. is the administrator. So is it good to work with your kids? Because I don't know about working with my daughter. <laughs> it's interesting. It's interesting. But she comes from um, an educational background. She was, was a teacher. So dealing with children and elderly, I mean, some of Same those thing. things, yeah, some of those things are, are common. Um, yes, she is my administrator. Uh, my son is my um, CFO. Oh, wow. My, <laughs> my son-in-law is the maintenance director. Yes. Oh, so it's a whole family affair. Yeah, it's a family affair. So you don't even really have to worry about the trust issues. <laughs> no, okay. I, I shouldn't. But we do have um, caregivers that are not family, but not many. And they're all fully vaccinated. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Somebody has a parent, and it gets to a point where they cannot take care of them any longer. Mm-hmm. What's the procedure for bringing them to a facility? Okay, so you will come and to our community to just make sure that that's the place where you want Mm -hmm. um, to be. And we'll also interview you to make sure that um, your uh, loved one is a perfect fit for the community. Because we are a six-bed residential, so we're very conscientious about who we bring in and that fit. Because we, we live as a family. Right. Okay, so we just have to make sure that the fit works for, for both of us. Um, the doctor will examine um, your loved one. Um, they will fill out an 1823. 1823. Yes. I just learned about that. <laughs> 1823. <laughs> uh, we'll come out and do an assessment as well. Um, and then you bring your loved one to the community, and there's an assessment that we'll continue to do, an admission assessment. Uh, we'll go over the contract. You sign the contract. Um, and um, we do uh, assessments based on preferences. You know, when you, when does your mom like to get up? When does your mom like to go to bed? What does she like to do in her, in her free time? Those type of things so that we can develop a plan of care um, that's geared um, towards your mom and individualized. Okay, so I have to ask you this. Mm-hmm. So for the last three years, I'm taking care of mom, and that's going to come to an end because I just won't be able to do it anymore. Mm-hmm. We understand. Everybody that comes through loves my mom because she's feisty. Okay. Okay. They talk about some of the elders that they take care of that just sit there and stare out into space. Yes. Yes. They, my mom is a bit feisty, (laughs) okay? And what I've learned, Mm -hmm. because she's feisty to me too sometimes, is, you know what? She's complaining. Ma, you sit there and you think about it. I'm going to leave the room. I leave. Mm -hmm. Come back 20 minutes later, she totally forgot. Mm Mm-hmm. And you can see the dementia, and we kind of laugh at it because I'm blessed that she's 89 and has mild dementia. Okay. But she will say things that's kind of funny to us. Like my, <laughs> my, my wife came in yesterday and at, after work, and she said to my mom, how was your day? Because we always ask her. Mm-hmm. My day was good. I went out to lunch with Vicky. Which my mom. Mm-hmm. So she thinks she went out with lunch with my mom. Okay. 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 And the lunch was very, very good. My mom didn't go out to lunch. Right. <laughs> right. And my wife will kind of we'll laugh about it. Mm-hmm. Um, my, my wife and I will be playing cards and um, we'll listen to my mom to have a conversation with herself. Okay. Um, like, yeah, I don't want that. I think I need more orange juice. Blah, blah, blah. Now, senior women especially are prone to UTIs. Yes, they are. Okay, so I, she used to love soda. She didn't have soda anymore, not allowed. Mm-hmm. Okay, she drinks water and seltzer. Okay. Two things that I, affect that. And plus, we make her drink, she used to drink no water. We make mm-hmm. her drink a lot of water. Okay. So thank God, because her first UTI, we had no clue. Mm-hmm. Little did I know what I was getting into. Okay, she didn't know who she was. She wasn't speaking. Mm-hmm. It was yes. miserable. Mm-hmm. Hospitaliz- Hospitalization-wise, mm-hmm. it was really, really bad. Mm-hmm. Okay, so... It really is a journey 
to take your loved one who's a senior and put them in to your community because it's a small community you want it to fit, uh, be a right fit for everybody. Mm -hmm. That makes all sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're getting to the top of our time. How do people contact you? You have a website? Yes, we have a website. Which is? is? There is um, www.akeytoparadise.com. Right. All right, well, it's not that simple. Because <laughs> a key is A. K E E. E. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you got to get it right. It's A K E E to paradise.com. And you have a phone yes. number? Yes, we do. It's 772 right. uh, 237 4495. And we're located here in beautiful Port St. Lucie, Florida. And it's a beautiful facility. I was looking at the picture. They got a pool, so I really want to go. Um, but I don't know if I'll pass the assessment. <laughs> I want to thank you for coming on. Well, thank you for having us. Today. Everybody, check them out. Yes. And it's very important that when you're dealing in anything that you use a professional, and when you're dealing with your loved ones, you surely want to make sure that you're using a professional. With that, we'll be right back. Have a great day.